Montesquieu's influence on the Constitution, made by Audrey Hannon. As everybody knows, the U.S. Constitution has infinite influence on the people of America. But who influenced the writing of the Constitution? Out of the three groups of text by Hobbes, Locke, and Montesquieu, I believe that Montesquieu had the most influence on the U.S. Constitution. He wrote about many concepts that the Founding Fathers amplified when making the Constitution, such as the three branches of government and checks and balances. In Montesquieu's chapter of the Constitution of England, he says, In every government there should be three sorts of power. The legislative, the executive in respect to things dependent on the law of nations, and the executive in regard to matters that depend on the civil law. Sound similar? Well... That's how the United States government is set up. Legislative, executive, and judicial. If there were not three different powers in a government, then there would be no organization, and it would just be chaos. Something like this would probably happen if there are no separate powers in a government. Good day, I need help writing laws. But I'm a judge. I only analyze the laws. Montesquieu didn't just talk about there being three powers in a government. He discussed how these powers should be in separate branches. If all of the branches were united in one person, that would mean that that one person had all of the power of a country, which means they could pretty much pass any law they wanted. And this would not be fair in any way. Again, this is why the United States has three separate branches of government. It's to avoid having one person with all of the power. Another correlation between the United States government and Montesquieu's writing is when he discussed how judges should be considered as equals to the suspects. If judges think that they're above anyone brought before them, or above the law, then they might judge them unfairly, or say that they broke laws when they actually didn't. Hmm, I don't like you. Guilty! The only exception to this is whenever a country is in a war, they can arrest people that they suspect are allies with the opposing country. They can do this without putting the person on trial because that person poses a possible threat to their country. In conclusion, as Montesquieu said, political liberty does not consist in an unlimited freedom.